and welcome back to my channel so if you're new and you don't know who i am my name is claudia k aka v a girl and i film lifestyle beauty and fashion vlogs and if you're not new welcome back so as you can tell by this title i'll be doing like an after school routine video i don't really have a routine um in college like i feel like i just be done with my day i really hope you guys enjoy be sure to like comment subscribe turn my post notifications on and let's get right into it I don't mind the fan but right now it's 401 um and i got i got myself lunch because i was hungry i was gonna eat it um at student union because i don't use, really like eating in my room i didn't have time for it and i have to go pick up a package um downstairs for my birthday so i'm really excited about that usually the first thing i like to do when i get in here is just to like kind of light a candle because sometimes it smells weird in here so i just like to light a candle and like leave my room like my window open just to like air it out i'm about to go downstairs to pick up my package so you guys are gonna come with me for that so i got the fan going right now because it kind of helps just like move the air around <laughs> so now that's that's done we're about to go downstairs and get my package i'm not gonna show y'all what the package is i'm not gonna show y'all what's in the package but you know, I'm gonna take my jacket off too because there's really no reason why I even got this on. So, as y'all know, my birthday is next week. I have like nine or eight days into my birthday. So, I've really just been on a time crunch getting everything done. Right now, I'm going to go pick up the other pair of shoes uh, for my birthday. The package place is downstairs. It always smells like a pack in this hallway, but um the package place is downstairs so that's where we're heading right now but as y'all know i finally hit 1k subscribers if you guys did not notice so really shout out to all my it girls that support me and shout out to my it girls that subscribe comment i really appreciate you guys because y'all are really the reason i keep going um and y'all are really like my biggest supporters even though i really do not know y'all which is so crazy y'all are my biggest supporters so i'm just really grateful for that and if you're not subscribed, I highly suggest y'all subscribe and join the It Girl family because us It Girls, we've really taken over this 2024. All right, y'all, so I'm almost at the package office and it's kind of loud, but I'm so excited because I've been feeding for these shoes. Like, I'm so, 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 so hyped. I really, I really wish I could show you guys, like I really do, but I'm, I'm really moving, I'm moving presidential this year for my birthday like nobody gonna know nothing i don't want y'all to know nothing like i feel me i just want to drop my vlog and that's where y'all can see everything for me like oh what i did for my birthday instead of me just posting everything on my instagram because i don't really get much support like i get support from my instagram but um i don't know it's just better if everyone just goes to my vlogs and watches it instead of me like like basically vlogging my whole experience on my instagram and i'm not getting any you know like i'm not getting any views on youtube you know what i mean i feel like y'all get what i'm trying to say all right y'all so i'm at the package lockers usually we get like an email okay so package locker three let me see if i can get a picture for my thumbnail no shade hold on all right y'all so this is like the little code they give us okay and then you just scan it and then it'll open as you can see oh my god why does it already look kind of open they gotta chill nah babe this packet is heavy what is this this is my shoes right this is the package guys it's kind of heavy so i don't know if i can vlog yo let's go back upstairs i'm gonna try these on i'm gonna rate it for you guys let you let y'all know how i'm feeling it um and then i'm gonna eat because i'm hungry and i have youth church tonight so i think they said they're gonna pick me up at like five o'clock around that time so i gotta hurry up because i know they're gonna come get me soon and i wanted to take a shower before i went so i'm gonna do that because i mean i showered last night but i don't know i just want to shower again because i'm not gonna get back home until late and then i have work tomorrow in the morning and i don't want to wake up and shower in the morning so basically I just tried on the shoes. They're amazing. They fit really well. I really love them. So now, since it is 
4.33. I'm about to eat real quick. I got a sandwich from Stackers today. And it looks good. I got a quarter pound burger. Because last time I made the mistake of getting half of a pound. That was huge. So I got a quarter pound burger with tomato, lettuce, onions, pickles, um, ketchup and mayo, and bacon. So this is how it looks basically. Um, I'm trying to see. Maybe I should take a thumbnail picture. Mmm. Sorry guys. I forgot to pray. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I used to hate ketchup. Like, hate is a strong word, but I used to dislike ketchup, like, really bad. Like, I really just wasn't a fan of ketchup. And my boyfriend, he drowns everything he eats in ketchup. Like, literally. He's a ketchup fanatic. So, after I got with him, I started, like, eating ketchup more. Um, it's kind of weird, but... Yeah, when I got with him, like, I started, like, accepting ketchup more, like, in my diet. I was like, you know what? Ketchup's not so bad. And I kind of had no choice because he eats ketchup on everything. My eyebrows look full. Hold on. I was just telling my vlog how, um, you got me back into ketchup. Because I really never used to like ketchup. I'm gonna see how I want to finish my food. There's really no point of recording right now. Alright, y'all. Um, me and my big back, we already done with the food. So right now it's 4.45. And I'm about to go in the shower. So I got to take some things that I know I'm going to need in the shower. I'm definitely going to use my Dove Aloe and Eucalyptus Oil Soap. Since it's not like the night, night, night time, I'm not going to use my, um, what's that thing called again? Oh, I'm not going to use my Dr. Teal's. I'm going to use my La Roche Posay for my face. Even though it's at night time, I usually use that like when it's night, night, night time. But when I get back, it's going to be nighttime, and I'm literally just going to go back in my bed, so. And tomorrow's actually my last day at my job. I plan to quit, because I just don't really like it there. Um, and I just have, I have, just have trust that God is going to just, like, bless me with another job, or he's going to, like, I don't know. I don't know what, how it's going to work out, but I know I'm not staying there. Like, constantly going to work and hearing, you know, people come up to me like, oh, is that your real hair? Like, obviously, you know it's not my real hair. You know, like, sometimes I feel like it's just very condescending when they ask me those questions. Or, like, one time I was having an interaction with this customer, and, like, he was like, oh, I like your hair. Like, even though it's not yours, I'm like, okay, like, obviously I know that. You know, like, you don't have to remind me that it's not my hair. Sometimes I, in my head I'd be like, maybe I should just stay. But it's just like, why would I stay somewhere that I'm not, I'm not happy? I'm not being treated that well. Um, when I first got there, they told me I'd be doing a whole different type of job than I am doing now. And I just feel like I could find something better. Like, you know, God has something better for me. But, you know, I feel like God wants me to take that leap without him showing. That's the thing. Like, God wants us to trust him without him showing us, like, what he could do. Like, you, sometimes you got to just trust God without even seeing what, what could come out of it, you know? Sometimes you gotta just take that leap of faith. You know, you gotta leave that relationship. You gotta leave the your house. You gotta leave that, you know, friendship. You gotta, you gotta just leave. Even if it's uncomfortable, even if you don't know what's gonna come out of it, God always has a plan for you. He always does. He always has, has an alternative for you. I got good news. The person that's supposed to pick me up, he said he was running late. Like, girl, don't even, don't even worry about it because I have not showered yet. <laughs> I have not showered yet. So right now it's 5.36 and... I took too long. I was sitting down talking to my boyfriend, but I'm gonna hop in the shower right now. So first I'll be washing my body with this aloe and eucalyptus oil soap, and I'll be using my green rag. And then after I go in with my La Roche Posay purifying foaming cleanser, and I use this spin brush to get deep into my pores. Hey guys, so right now I'm kind of in a time crunch because um the people that are coming to pick me up are already here, and I just got out the shower. But at least I'm done showering. I was supposed to make my bed and stuff because I didn't get to this morning, but we're just gonna skip that part of the video. And I'm about to get ready and show you guys, like, what I plan on wearing. It's a little cold out. Let me see how, how cold it is. It's 38 degrees. Yeah, so it's only, like, 6 right now. Um, So I, I imagine that it's going to gradually get colder. So I ha already have an idea of what I'm going to wear for that reason. I'm just going to, I'm going to show you guys. But I'm just trying to hurry up and do my face routine. I think I'm going to bring my charger with me because I didn't get to really charge my phone um while i was in the shower but as y'all can see i'm about to do my face routine real quick for the nighttime, and it's different from what i do in the morning 
um i use like less lotions and i use like i use my faded topicals in the nighttime instead of in the daytime i'm about to take a quick picture for my thumbnail because mama needs that <laughs> okay so as you can see i got a couple thumbnails so now i'm actually gonna lotion my face so i start off with some toner Feels like an eyelashes in my eye right now. So once that's done, I go in with my faded topicals. It's a brightening and clearing serum. I have like really like not terrible, like it was worse when I was younger, but I have like bad discoloration of my face. So like different areas of my face would be lighter um than others. So I use this to just try to even it out to my actual skin tone. Ooh, guys, my eyebrows look full. I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy about that because when I get my eyebrows done, I need them to look like. I was thinking about getting my eyebrows tinted, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't know. I just I don't want to look weird. I just feel like as long as they're done, they look clean. I haven't gone to an eyebrow person in like probably a whole year. Like I was thinking if I wanted to start waxing my eyebrows instead of getting them threaded, because what I do now is I thread, but it gives off the same result. So I don't know, but I know like a lot more girls and a lot more places by my house do waxing rather than thread. And oh shit, I like to go to the Indian girls, like the Indian girlies or the Indian shops. Cause they really, they, they be eating it down. Like they be eating it. But the one I went to, I don't know. They be really inconsistent with their people. There's this one girl, her name started with an S. I don't remember, but she did my eyebrows so good. Like so good. Like I went back in the shop and I asked them, oh, like where she was. And they fired my sis. Like, I feel like they was low-key hating because everybody was asking about her. But she did eyebrows really good. Like, they missed out on some good money. I'm not gonna lie. But let me show you guys what I plan on wearing. I need to hurry up. I think I'm gonna keep it cute and comfortable. I'm gonna wear my Lululemon um, sweater. And I'm gonna wear my, my pink tights. Like, they're not pink, but they say pink all down. Because I wanted to wear my beanie because my hair looks crazy right now. And then I'm gonna wear my Uggs. I'm about to put it on and show you guys how it looks. Hey right, y'all, I'm all dressed. Um, I'm rushing kind of because, as I said, the already outside. So this is my fit, obviously. I have to put the light on me because it's a little dark, but I got my beanie, my coat. Um, I have the tights on with my Uggs. Um, my sweater's underneath. I'm about to just real quick pack my bag. So obviously I need my ID. I was gonna take my Telfar to match, but I'm just gonna take my, let me see, I'm, <gasps> my TV's tilting. Like, don't act out now. Y'all have been good this whole time. I'm running so, so late, so I'm about to take the quick way downstairs. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I'm at church right now. This is how it's looking. I'm looking forward to tonight. They said we're gonna play Bible Jeopardy. I've never played Bible Jeopardy before. I don't really know too many Bible stories, but I feel like I feel like the like the memories from like childhood is gonna like unlock, and I'm gonna like I'm gonna get this one. I don't know what else is gonna happen. But I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna just see what's vibes. Um, I just got done eating. I wasn't able to like really film because I was talking to my friend, but um, it was really good. Ten out of ten. That's one thing I really like about this place. They let you eat first, and then we do like the activities and stuff. And I feel like that's so great because some people like may not have been able to eat before. So just coming here and being able to eat something is just so great. I love that. I just love coming here. Like I feel like it's just like a little reset for me. It's just so exciting being here. Oh my goodness. Hi everybody. <laughs> I love the camera. I'm such a camera personality. Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? I'm Ashley. It's nice to meet you guys. Um, I love Jesus. <laughs> yes. Amen. 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 Jibs. Whether it be business, whether it be just you yourself, these will guarantee success. And the first one is focus. The key to focus is to set goals because those who set goals outperform those who don't. But Habakkuk 2 2 says, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So, what does that mean? You have a vision. You take that vision and you write it down as simple as you need it to be for you to understand. And then you get it done. And when you do that, it says that those who do that outperform those who don't. With passion, how bad do you want it? Passion is very important. How bad do you want it? How much time and energy are you going to put into your craft? Jokes that we put together, all right? So we're gonna be giving out prizes. If Randy can come up here with me. What is the final pillar of success?
success. All right, we got a YouTuber over here with 10 million subscribers. Let's hear it. Mental toughness. Okay, okay. I like the way it's sound. Let's get one more. You want first? Oh my God. God, I think I said the wrong one. <laughs> I, I definitely picked perfect, the wrong perfect. one. Okay. Alright, who wants to go next? It's okay. All right. Guys, so I just got back from youth church and I'm about to go to sleep because it is currently it's 12 24 and I have a 10 a.m. tomorrow, so I have to go to sleep because I have to really be up at 9. Church today, youth church was so 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 good. I feel like I learn more and more about myself. But yeah, I learned more and more about myself and like the type of influencer and YouTuber I want to be the more I go to this church. I'm just so grateful to be like in a, a loving and warm environment because I feel like that's really like that matters so, so much. Every time I'm in this hallway, it smells like beer ganja. Like. It's a calm and Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me on the mark. Take me on the map. I'm trying to hit the group. I'm about to go into my bed, obviously, because it's getting late. I think it's 1 o'clock. No, it's 12.45, so that's not bad. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ooh, my light turned off, guys. This is so embarrassing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn my post notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, it girls. Mwah. Collecting the paper, I ain't picking up waste. I don't game bang with this book on my waist. Rap shit stick like I'm holding up tape. Cash it for mail, let's have a debate. Five star shit, I'ma top any rate. Up last seven, now we going up eight when I roll up the yums. No, it's a face, I got faith to be God, I'll be patient and wait. Cause 